Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I have another awesome video. I am doing part two to recreating popular doll Instagram photos. I did the first one a while back, so make sure to go check out that video as well. And you guys seem to really like that video, so I knew that I had to do a part two. Basically how this works is I try to recreate photos from popular doll Instagram accounts. And the first photo I'm gonna be trying to recreate is this one here by Fandoll1315. They have amazing photos on their account, so make sure to go check them out. I will link all of the Instagram accounts down below in the description that I'll be taking the photos from for inspiration. The first thing I'm gonna do is switch the background to this white background. So as for the dolls in the photo, luckily I have two dolls that are exactly the same and one that looks super similar. So I do have the BMR959 Ken doll that they used, this Barbie made to move doll that they also used, and Emily is probably the closest doll to the third one that they used with the blonde hair. So I'm gonna be using her as well. So now I'm gonna find some outfits as close as I can to the picture for these dolls. So I just went and looked through my doll clothing drawer and I'm pretty happy with the outfits that I put together. For the Ken doll, I have perfect glasses for him and I think they actually look super good on him. Unfortunately, they don't actually go over the ear, so I had to kind of put them on top awkwardly. So, um, that doesn't look great, but from the front, it looks pretty good. The top, I actually sewed this. I know it's not identical, but it's closer than any other Ken doll top I had before, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. Next, we have this doll, and I think I got pretty accurate with her. I put her hair in a high ponytail because the doll in picture has high ponytail. And I gave her this top because I do have the exact same one. This was actually originally that doll's top. And I kind of cuffed up the sleeves just like in the photo as well. And then it looks like she had some black leggings. So I just gave her these black Puma leggings. And we weren't so fortunate with the last outfit. Um, first off, the doll isn't the same doll. So that kind of throws it off already. But I didn't have the same Supreme hoodie, so I just used a sweater that has kind of the same blue color. I know it has these random stripes in there, which is kind of throwing it all off, but hopefully we'll make do with it. And then I gave her these blue shorts. Again, they're not really similar to the original photo, but I didn't really have anything that would work better. I put her hair in a low ponytail, and I mean, it could be worse. I don't think it's horrible. Um, I think, hopefully, it'll do the job. As for props, I have this white desk because it does look like there's a white desk in the photo. So I'm just gonna put this in front of this white background. And then you can't really see a chair in the photo, but I assume that the Ken doll is sitting down on a chair. So I just have this white chair that I'll use for him to sit on. And now I'm just gonna try to put the dolls in their proper positions as best as I can. Now what I'm gonna do is just add their accessories and try to match them as close as I can to the actual photo. So I'm just gonna start by placing this little laptop here. The notebooks are not gonna be the same, but I just tried to get ones that look somewhat similar. It'll never be perfect, but uh, hopefully this works. Giving her some notebooks to hold. As for the backpack, I know they have a brown one and I don't have anything close to that. So I'm just using this pink one here that I actually do have a tutorial for how to make. So check that out. Okay guys, I'm actually super happy with how this setup looks. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to take some photos. There are some things I'm definitely noticing that are different, but I think for what I'm working with, I think I did pretty well. So I'm just gonna take some pictures, edit it a little bit, and hopefully we get a similar photo. Let's find out. Personally, I'm actually very happy with how that recreation photo turned out. So I'm super excited for this next one. And this next one, I am taking a photo from Marika Golf Doll's Instagram account and trying to recreate it. So this is the photo I'm trying to recreate and hopefully I can do it. Here is my doll. Luckily I have the exact same doll 
and I think I got the outfit almost spot on. I am aware my doll has a bit more curly hair than the doll in the picture, but hopefully that won't affect too much. But basically, I'm just going to pull back her hair into the hairstyle that they have in the photo. One thing I'm also going to have to do is pierce her ears because the doll in the photo does have earrings, and I'm completely fine with that because I kind of have wanted to pierce her ears for a while anyways. So I'm just using my good old thumbtack method where basically I just poke in where I want the earring to go. And then quickly push in the earring once you take out the thumbtack. And these earrings are about as close as I think I'm gonna get to the ones in the photo. So I'm just gonna repeat that on the other ear. For the background, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on because it's mainly blurred. So I'm just using this white background and then I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of greenery in the corner, kind of like how they do in the photo. But first off, I did make this white chair specifically for this photo. I know it's completely different to the one in the photo, but I needed something for her to sit on and um, I just quickly made this. And for the ground, I'm actually just gonna quickly place this green mat underneath to look like some sort of grass. Um, yeah. And now I'm just gonna put some greenery in this corner over here behind the chair to hopefully recreate the background. So this is the setup so far. I know it's not perfect. I'm hoping that I can just kind of edit things to look better later, but we're just gonna try to work with this and see how this turns out. So I'm just gonna try to get everything in position. This is how it looks, and I think it looks pretty okay so far. I did make that little plant, and I think it matches almost perfectly, so I'm really happy about that. Let's just take some photos and see how this turns out. I'm personally super happy with how the last doll photo recreation turned out. And the last one I'm gonna be doing for today is by an Instagram account called Kakinos Dorados Doll. I probably almost 100% pronounced that wrong, but I love their photos and this is the one I'm going to be trying to recreate today. Now in this photo, you can see that there's this really nice fluffy pink fabric. And if you watched my other video where I tried to recreate popular Instagram doll photos, you'll know that for one of the photos, I actually used this fluffy pink sweater. It's kind of perfect. Um, it's fluffy pink and I didn't really have anything else. So I'm also gonna use that for today's photo as well. And hopefully it turns out. So I'm basically just gonna spread this out flat and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because it does look like the fabric in the photo might be a bit of a lighter pink. Um, but we'll just see how this turns out. So for me, the closest doll I had to the one in the picture is this doll once again. Just because her hair is nice and curly, like the doll in the photo, her hair is definitely more thick though. So hopefully that won't create a problem. And it is a bit of a different type of curl, but this is definitely the doll that is closest to the one in the picture. So I'm gonna be using her. I also gave her this striped sweater, which I totally forgot that I had. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to position her as close as I can to the doll in the photo. I think this position is pretty close. I also do have this little bow that I'm going to attempt to carefully glue in her hair. Um, of course, I don't actually wanna glue her hair, but I have elastic that hopefully I can just carefully glue to. Okay, I think that kind of worked. <laughs> so now that we have the doll's position and look all set up, I think we can start adding the little accessories to go around her. First, I have this little laptop. It's the same one we used earlier in today's video. I only have one magazine, unfortunately, but I'm just gonna use some little uh, notebooks as well because why not? I'm gonna be using this little Polaroid camera that I actually won from a giveaway by Kitty Craft on Instagram and it's super cute. So I'm just gonna place that in the photo. I know it's not yellow like the one in the photo, but it's, I think it'll still work. At least let's hope. <laughs> I have this mini phone. I have this little coffee cup. That doesn't wanna stay standing. Oh, okay. I think we got it. Lastly, I printed off these little photos. Um, these were really cute photos, but like since they were printed so tiny, um, 
they're basically just blurry blobs like you can't even make out anything so if you guys can actually make out what these pictures are from my instagram i will be very shocked and surprised um because right now they kind of look like blurry blobs but uh yeah but we can work with that i'm just gonna place them where they were kind of in the picture And I actually think they look super cute. These are actually really cute little photos, even though they're all blurry. They're still pretty cute. And I'm think I think this is looking pretty similar. Um, we won't really know until we actually take the photo. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I think the results were pretty good. I think the other two photos I did might have been a little bit better. So guys, make sure to let me know in the comments below which of the recreations I did today was your favorite. Also, do be sure to check out all of the Instagram accounts that I recreated the photos from because they have amazing photos and overall amazing Instagram accounts. So I will have them all linked down below and just make sure to go check them all out and support them. Before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Fantastic Doll Stuff, Sparkle Shine, and Wanda Halensi. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you have a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls. Comment below if you want part three of this series, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.